My film club friends, what's going on? We're here, we're here, we're doing it. Happy summer, hope you're enjoying yourself. It's been hot as frickin' heck out here. What is with the censorship? Anywho, I am your friend and host, Carson Higgins. This is your other friend and co-host, Groot. And this is the Filmstruck Film Club. We try to watch a movie every week. Sometimes, uh, you know, summer gets the best of you. And so, if you haven't seen me in a while, I've just been, you know, out there on the picket line because the acting union, sag after is on strike with the Writers Guild. Been out there uh, on the picket line with those friends of mine. So, what's cool is... We did watch a new movie, and uh, it took me a while to get to it, but I watched it, and it was awesome. Uh, I had picked this film. I had been seeing this, like, kind of lurking on the Criterion channel for a while now, and it's it's always kind of caught my eye, and I've been meaning to check it out. But then, of course, just recently, uh, the fabulous and wonderful Jane Birkin passed away, and, and in seeing people post about her and posting about her music and her career and that delightful bag that's named after her... Uh, this film, La Piscine, came up quite a few times, so I wanted to check it out, finally. I had never seen it, and it stars one of my favorite French actors, Alain Delon. I hope I'm saying that right. I need to learn how to speak French so I can say everybody's names properly and say the titles of films properly. But, yes, we did watch, uh, what is it, Jacques de Rey's La Piscine, The Swimming Pool. Uh, I really enjoyed this movie. It is such... It's so clearly uh, just a perfect summer movie, kind of right out the gate. Every bit of this cinematography just looks like a hot summer day by the pool. Most of this film is a hot summer day by the pool. Uh, the The thing that I knew about this movie was that it took place by a swimming pool. I actually didn't know that there was like a thriller element to this, uh, kind of until the, until the day I decided to watch it. Uh, so the whole time I had kind of thought it was like this erotic, romantic film, uh, which it is a little bit of that as well, but it's mostly the, the slow degrading of a friendship and jealousies, and uh, it's, it's actually quite a, quite a sick little movie. <laughs> uh, I found it to be, if you're, if you're a fan of the White Lotus television program, th I feel like that especially season two, has a lot to thank this film for. The French Riviera has never looked so freaking awesome. I just wanted to go on vacation immediately. The house that this whole film takes place in is just gorgeous. Can we all just go stay there for a week? Airbnb, are you listening to this? Anyway, um, yeah, Alan Delon, and I hope I'm saying her name right, Romy? Maybe Rami? I'm going to stick with Romy. Romy Schneider. Uh, they are the leads in this film. And that is particularly interesting because they dated for a whole long time and then they broke up and then they made this movie. So it's one of those it's one of those things where it's two actors who are very comfortable with each other, but this like palpable tension is is on screen the whole time. And so if you know that they once dated, it was it, it made it, it it adds to the film for sure. Uh, something I didn't know until after the fact, though, is just recently, like as of maybe 2015 or 16 or something like that, Luca Guadagino, the director of such films as Call Me By Your Name and the remake of Suspiria, he directed a remake of this movie called The Bigger Splash, and it had Ray Fiennes in it and Tilda Swinton, and I watched the trailer after I watched this, and I was like, it's the, it's the same movie. Wait a minute. So now, I, I, don't know, I don't know what the verdict is on that movie, if it's like, pass or definitely watch but i like that director i like the cast and i liked this movie a lot so i, I kind of want to check it out um i i really don't have like much to say i other than it's i think i'm gonna watch this like every summer at least once because it's just it just has summer oozing out of it the michelle legrand score that comes in every once in a while when they're playing cool jazz music of course there's a ton of plot stuff that i could get into where it's a couple, and they're at this house, and they're staying there because it's their friend's house. And then, of course, she gets a phone call from her other friend, and she invites him, and he's like, hey, wait a minute, didn't y'all used to fuck? And he's, she's like, nah, we didn't. And then, of course, he shows up with his smoking hot daughter, and Alan Delon's all like, oh, shit, my friend, who's maybe not so much my friend, has got this hot daughter that I never knew about. And wait, my girlfriend and him are maybe going to be fucking this weekend? What's your name? That's pretty much the majority of this movie, is then the like, 
the cat and mouse of will they, won't they. And of course, there's uh, an impromptu party that, that takes place, which then creates maybe a bit of a distraction, a bit of privacy. Uh, people get to know each other a wee bit. Uh, it's a, Honestly, it's like, it's it does have some things that maybe worked better in 1969. For example, uh, the father, Harry, I believe is his character name, right? Uh, he's got a kind of a weird relationship with his daughter. It's pretty clear that if he was drunk enough, and that's like a problem when you're sitting there trying to enjoy the movie. Uh, but this this dynamic, I feel like at the time was more to just illustrate a, a maybe a a jealousy between the, these men. But it just kind of comes off as like, hey man, you shouldn't be hitting on her, and hey man, that's your daughter, and so there's just there's some there's some weird. Some weird sexual politics going on in this movie. But uh, it doesn't take away from the fact that, like, everybody's just looking great, smoking cigarettes, eating good food, coming out of the swimming pool, driving Maseratis through the countryside. Like, it's got a good vibe, I I, I gotta say. Uh, so I, I am eager to... I, I do want to check out that, that Luca Guadagino remake. Shoot me a comment and let me know if it's a waste of my time or if I should check it out or not. Um... But yeah, man, I, I don't really even have much else to say other than I do think it's worth your time checking it out, especially while it's still super hot out. It is like maybe a top 10 summer movie somehow. Like put this, Jaws, Do the Right Thing. These are all summer movies in my mind. Uh, but yeah, we will have another pick for us. So, so feel free to watch this movie on your free time and uh, be on the lookout for the next pick. Follow us at Filmstruck Film Club so that you can keep track with us. Groot. He never really adds a whole lot. He's always just kind of mind blown by the whole experience. He loves cinema so much. Uh, and so do I. And so do you. And I love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon.